the gospel is the power of Yahuwah unto salvation, and that's what we're talking about uh, today in our teaching. Uh, I'm going to read in Romans chapter 4, where I began a little bit of this in our last session, and uh, please, as I encourage you to go back and listen to the other teachings if you haven't heard the others that have already done on this subject. But Romans chapter 4, verse 1, Paul, or Shaol, is writing, he says, What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, has found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory or to esteem, but not before Yahuwah. For what says the scripture? Abraham believed Yahuwah, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Are you hearing this? Abraham believed Yahuwah, and Yahuwah accounted that to righteous, for righteousness for him. Now let me say this too, that before the Mashiach came, uh, the Ruach, the Spirit, was not given to man as we know it today. For those that have believed the gospel, believed the, uh, as the apostles uh, in the 120 on the day of Pentecost were up in the upper room, they were to wait and tarry as the Mashiach told them to wait for the promise of the Father, which was the promise of the Ruach, of the Spirit, that would not only come upon them, but, but come to abide and live in them. But before, before the Mashiach or the Messiah died on the cross or, or on the tree and paid the penalty for our sins, the Ruach was not given in the same manner. In other words, they had the promise of eternal life. Yahuwah could treat them as if they were righteous even though they weren't righteous, and the fact is that they did not have the Ruach or the Spirit of Yahuwah. See, all the sacrifices that they did with the animal sacrifices, all that did was cover their sins until the real sacrifice, which is we know it as Yahusha, is the, is the spotless son of Yahuwah <clears throat> that was slain even before the foundation of the world for our, our, our benefit and, and for, our, for our to be justified before Yahuwah. He, he was him who knew no sin, talking about the Mashiach, became sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of Yahuwah. I refer to it as the great exchange. Exchange. He took, he took upon our sin and he gave us eternal life, gave us his life, his nature. Wow. What love that, that Yahuwah, that Yahusha would come. And he said, no man takes my life from me. He wasn't talking about just his physical life. He said, no one takes my life from me. I give it of myself. He gave us eternal life, not just to live forever. He gave us his Ruach, his spirit. Romans chapter 8 says, if any man have not the spirit or the Ruach of the Mashiach, you don't belong to Yahuwah. So that's why we want to see here that Abraham was accounted as righteous for, by Yahuwah simply because he believed what Yahuwah said. And it's actually the same thing for you and I, is that when we believe the gospel or the good news, it's the power of Yahuwah unto salvation, unto your deliverance. Now, I, I briefly mentioned this the other in our first session, I think, and I, I want to go into a little bit of this, but don't want to go too far into it to, to take us off track here. But the word, uh, I said that the word salvation, a better understanding of that in Hebrew would be deliverance. But... Um, because the word itself means much more than, say, forgiveness of sins or being born of the Spirit or keeping us, say, out of hell, that we're saved from hell or saved from our sins, so forth. It's much more involved in that. It, it's, uh, it's, it's someone has said it's an all-inclusive word. In other words, it, means, it also means healing of the body. In other words, the healing of the physical body is salvation. It's just salvation of the physical body or, or to, for the body to be healed and made whole. But, and, and, and then of course the, the spirit of the Ruach is, is made new, we're new creatures in Mashiach for those, therefore if any man be in Mashiach, he's a new creature, that's a part of salvation as well. Um, there's, you know, Yahuwah saved Yasharel and he's, he's made promises to, to save uh, Yasharel in the latter days from those that would come against them. But he, that's talking about, in some instances, talking about, you know, when others come, other armies come against them, then Yahuwah was their salvation. You know, he, he, was, he was the children of Yashorel's savior when he delivered them from, the, from Pharaoh and from the Egyptians. He was their salvation then. 
So the word actually means is a much wider uh, meaning than just mo what most people think of when they ha when they hear the word salvation. They think of being just saved from hell, but that's a very limited uh, uh, in, in com uh, of what that word means. So with that said, <clears throat> let me read a few more verses before we close in this segment. But it says that Abraham believed Yahuwah and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And then it says, now to him that works is the reward, not reckoned of favor. The word actually grace here is used in the English, but it, <coughs> a better translation would be favor. See, Yahuwah has given us favor, not because we deserve it, but because of his goodness. You understand that? It's his goodness, not, not our goodness. But it says that um, now to him that works is the reward, not reckoned of grace but of debt. In other words, what it's saying is that if, if you uh, can approach Yahuwah, if you could approach Yahuwah on your own efforts or because your, your works that you had done, it would no longer be because of Yahuwah's favor. So you, you don't want to approach Yahuwah based on that. <laughs> I can tell you that. You want to approach him in his favor that he's showing to you. You want, you want to take advantage of the fact that he's showing you mercy. You don't want justice. <laughs> you want his mercy. I'll take his mercy anytime because I know that my own self-efforts, if I would weigh them against what I think and what really he, he requires, and if I come up short, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in a heap of trouble. So I would rather have his grace and mercy or his favor and mercy shown to me that he's freely given. You know, Yahushua himself said, I will have mercy and not sacrifice he said, if you would know what that means, in other words, he was saying, you know, a lot of people think that, uh, that they do all these sacrifices and they do all these things, but Yahushua said, I will have mercy. He says he delights in mercy. So when you get a proper understanding of the fact that is that Yahuwah wants to show mankind mercy, but they, it is something required. You have to do something. You do have to believe it. <laughs> you have to believe it and not just a head belief. I'm talking about a heart belief. See, this is where a lot of people get, get messed up is because they say they believe something, but you know their heart is far from him. Yahushua himself said, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. So, with that understanding, you know, we understand that it's with our whole heart. He said, if you seek me with your whole heart, you'll find me. And when you do, you recognize, oh, he showed me mercy. And now, because he showed me mercy, that I, the, the scripture says, we love him because he first loved us. And then I do delight in his law or his Torah because he's shown me mercy. But I don't try to keep his Torah uh, or the commandments because I'm trying to get there on my own self-efforts. Do you understand the difference? And it's very important that you do because a lot of people are, are confused and they're trying to uh, keep uh, all the, the ordinances, the commandments. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't, but they, that's their only approach. That they think that they're being... In other words, they're basing their salvation upon what they do. And if you do that, you're going to get you're going to be in a heap of trouble. Because if you're going to recognize if you didn't receive the Mashiach and you don't have his spirit, you're going to be lost throughout eternity. Because you have to have the Ruach in you in, before you leave this earth, because it's what causes you to be able to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. Well, thank you for joining us this segment. Again, please share this on Facebook. And uh, and I just encourage you to continue to, to listen to all of our teachings that we're going to be doing. We're going to do quite a few on this one, I believe. And again, it's called the gospel. What is the gospel or the good news? And uh, that's what we're, we're studying and, and getting a better grasp of what the good news is all about. Shalom.